So I had asked a while ago, because we had a poll, where we discussed whether, according to Christian theology, it is, in fact, a sin to be gay or not. Right. Um, and I feel like this has come up again, because the answer to that question is, Christians have no fucking idea. So, <laughs> um, in Portland, Maine, um, uh, churches are preparing for, on Father's Day, which is uh, coming up next weekend, to begin a fundraiser campaign to lead opposition against a November ballot uh, initiative that's coming up that is asking voters in Maine to legalize same-sex marriage. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so between 150 and 200 churches are um, going to be trying to raise money for the Protect Marriage Maine political action. Um, recently, Maine's Catholic Diocese had raised about $80,000 um, for the 2009 efforts to overturn Maine's same-sex marriage law um, that was, in fact, rejected by voters. Um, so uh, the Catholic Church this time isn't actively campaigning, um, but this other group is. Um, so they're going to pass a second collection plate around on Father's Day, and that money is specifically going to go towards the Protect Marriage uh, initiative. Okay. I find it funny because in the same week as that is happening in Maine, a church in North Carolina actually put up a billboard that reads, this is the Mission Gathering Christian Church in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. um, it's an apology of all things. And the, the <laughs> billboard reads, Mission Gathering Christian Church is sorry for the narrow-minded, judgmental, deceptive, manipulative actions of those who denied rights and uh, equality to so many in the name of God. And I think this really distills what we had talked about in that poll of Christians of whether it is wrong or not to be gay. Because the fact of the matter is, they don't know. Yeah. This Christian church, Mission Gathering Christian Church, and this is exactly like the thing we just talked about with the Mormon, the devout Mormons marching mm -hmm. in the Gay Pride Parade. These people are taking what their religious leaders and their religious texts, which is apparently the inspired word of God, say, and they're throwing it out the window in deference to their own feelings of fairness and compassion mm -hmm. and saying, no, you know, people, despite color or sexual orientation should be equal and we shouldn't hold each other down, you know, even in the name of God. But then you have like these churches in Maine who are looking at their religious texts and saying, no, that's exactly what we need to do. Yeah. So again, would the real Christians please stand up? Yeah. It, it's just, it's, it's in one way it's heartening to me because I look at like this church in North Carolina and I'm like, that's the way forward. That's the way it's going to happen. People are going to ignore the stuff about gay sex the same way they ignore stuff about eating shellfish. And eventually, you know, the humanity will come to a better place where we, in fact, don't feel the need to beat gay people to death in the streets, mm -hmm. you know, and we can look back at things like where the Bible says you stone gay people to death, and right. we can say, well, you know, that's a bygone era, it was barbaric, and we've progressed, and, you know, we're not threatened by gay people anymore, and we've come to a place where we can just say, live and let live. People can do what they want, consenting adults can engage in whatever activities they want that doesn't hurt anyone or take other people's freedoms away, right. and we can move past the bullshit of ancient texts, but some people are just holding on to it, which is fine, because they get smaller, they get louder, they get smaller, and, and eventually, you know, they go away, and, and, and it's not, and, and that's, that's the best part, is that nobody has to bludgeon religious people like literally no one has to beat them up or terrorize them mm -hmm. we don't have to have like the civil rights thing where the freedom riders go down into the south and get killed you know uh, you don't have to get uh fundamentalist religious people and chain them up behind a car and drag them to death right as happened to black people during the civil rights movement sometimes you don't need to stick dogs on them or fire hoses it's just it's 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 education, and it's, it's appealing to people's yeah. compassion yeah. and their humanity. And, and that's, that's the thing that I think is really great about like this church in North Carolina. They want to be compassionate, mm -hmm. and they want to be forgiven, and they want to be accepting. And, and they basically are spitting in the face of God. Yeah. It, 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 they're, they're looking at their holy book, and they're saying, No, my 
the, the, just, the judgment that I have is better than this old intolerant book. Mm -hmm. I don't need it. And that to me is really heartening because when people, when you appeal to people's humanity and their critical thinking, it seems like we come out on top. Well, and, and, and you see it, it's like both options are failing. You know, yeah. because like staying, staying hard and rigid, just too many people can't get into that anymore. And so that's right. why you, they get smaller and cry louder and get smaller and then they're gone. Right. So you win on that side of the table and then you win on the other side of the table because the ones that just keep loosening their, their you know, because they want to be more humanist and right. so on and so forth. They keep loosening the chains of the religion that they're tied to. And right. Eventually those just slip off because right. once you shed all the bullshit from the Bible, there's not enough left right. to have like an actual following. Yeah. So well, you're I, winning on both sides of the table, and that's why it's just slowly going away. Right. And and I think that's good for humanity. Absolutely. So, but I guess we'll see. Uh, maybe this maybe this will in, influence the uh, betting pool of uh, <laughs> the Mormon Church. But we'll see. Outcasts out.